Uh, Baltimore County is preparing to fully move into the second phase of reopening. Uh, Larry Hogan, the governor, gave his orders on reopening. Uh, and it it's unfolding. We're slowly, slowly getting back to a point where non-essential businesses, this is uh, going by Hogan's orders. He wants to move the state into the second phase, effective 5 p.m. tomorrow. Non-essential businesses that were previously ordered to close will begin to reopen. This includes gyms, fitness centers, movie theaters uh, will remain shuttered. Uh, but um, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting. So if, if you look at Baltimore County, which has a 7.9% positivity rating among the COVID-19 tests conducted, that is below the state average. It's below the state average. Uh, so uh, what, what, what we have is that the state gives an order. And then the individual jurisdictions a lot of times supersede those orders or they go along with them, uh, a, a variation of that, right? And it, it creates a lot of confusion. It creates a lot of confusion and people don't, don't really know what's, you know, what's to do with where they are. But as it relates to the state overall, you have Maryland with a stockpile of testing supplies, right? We have made great strides and improved the key metrics. Who's getting affected? What are our numbers? Those key metrics, they have improved. So you're going to start to see some non-essential businesses open, opening back up. Hogan said that, like Baltimore County, different local leaders will continue to have discretion on what and how fast they're going to open up. But um, as you know, when everybody has a little bit of power, they're just going to try to squeeze it as much as they possibly can. Most places are not going to just say, we're going to go with what the governor said. They're going to want to do their own little thing. Just because. It's just like at the, at the election. Uh, uh polling centers you know people want to tell you what to do hey hey, stop right there make sure you stand right here don't do that just it gives them this little feeling of being superior to people but it doesn't always equal out with things being good or capable or competent as you can see with the fact that we don't have results for the elections but i digressed let us continue so the governor said that uh, continued efforts to access federal labs have been unsuccessful. However, he said that Baltimore's lab and stockpile of testing supplies make the state uniquely positioned for whatever is ahead. You do remember that the governor had his wife call overseas and we got a bunch of tests flown in. So he's saying that we good. We good on that. All right. He said, I ain't, I ain't really talking about the other states, but all I know is that Maryland is good. Well, that's that's a good thing. We don't get a lot of good news. <laughs> so that's, that is a good thing. Hogan also said that the 10-person limit on gatherings technically remains in place, but pointed to the protests that have taken place in Baltimore, Towson, Columbia, and Annapolis since the death of George Floyd, which is something that I've talked about. If we have seen these mass groups of people get together, does that throw into question uh, your feelings about COVID-19, the coronavirus, and people gathering? I'm going to get into that in a second. Uh, the governor said that most of those people were not following the guidance and suggested that anybody who was out at a protest should look at to getting tested and avoid at-risk friends and family until they know that they don't have the coronavirus. So the protest took place outdoors. So you had a lot of uh, fresh air, 
free flowing air. A lot, there was a lot going on, right? Uh, that's different from people being confined to a space that is indoors. So while we have not seen widespread numbers uh, or a second wave, I don't know if that was 100% the best test of it because if those people had been indoors, we might have seen that. But they had air. They were outside. So it was a little bit safer for them getting all together. I don't want people to say, you know, I saw something online. Somebody said, uh, uh, all these people got together and nobody has coronavirus, somebody lying. Doesn't mean that. Doesn't mean somebody's lying. I'm just saying, they weren't all inside. Now, you put all those people on a plane, that's something totally different. Where the, where the air is just recycled back, same old air for a whole flight, that's something different. Put all these people in an auditorium or a gymnasium, that might be something different. Get, get all those people together in the in the arena might be something different. So I don't want people to be under this false false impression that everything is all good because we don't know that just yet. 